do um, a video tutorial on the braid weave. It's a three strand braid weave. It's woven continuously, so you should taper your weavers before you start. Um, and I always like to explain it by saying how it is the same as a three rod and how it is different than the three rod. So we'll start by putting them in. It is the same as a three rod or the triple twining in that it starts between uh, coming out of three consecutive spaces. It's the same as three rod in that you're always weaving with using three pieces. It is the same as three rod in that you always weave with the weaver or the strand farthest to the left. And it is the same as three rod in that you weave over two stakes or and behind one. However, what's different about it is that we don't lay on top of the other weavers. When we decide when we put the weaver, the last weaver, between the two other weavers and then we lift up the top weaver and we bring the one farthest to the left over two and behind one and then we put everything back where it was. Let me do that again for you. So this is the one that's farthest back and it's going to weave over two spokes, over one, two, and then it's going to come between the other two weavers and come behind one and out. And now everything's back. Let me do it again. This is the one farthest to the left and it comes between two weavers, between the two other weavers, over two spokes, behind one, let me get this out of the way, behind one and out. Oh, he snuck away. That happens a lot, so you want to always make sure before you do it again, you bring everything back. Now, technically, there are two steps to it. Um, I've just showed you the common denominator. The first step is the we weave with the one to the left, and it is going to come between two other weavers, and we lift up the middle weaver, which is the weaver on the top, to get it out of the way, in front of two, behind one, and out. Step two is that the weaver, also still the one farthest to the left, comes between the other two, oh, but notice it is now on top of the other two weavers, comes between the two other weavers, oh look, and now this top weaver is not the middle spoke, coming out the middle space, it's coming out of the last space, but it still goes between the two weavers, over two, behind one, and out. So what's happening is things are moving around, and that's what you want it to do, but you're always, all you have to think about is you weave with the one to the left, it goes between the two weavers, move the top weaver out of the way, bring it behind, bring the last weaver, to the one to the left, over two and behind one and out. So the position of this weaver that's furthest to the left is either going to be above or below, that's normal, and the, move, the weaver that you move is either going to be in the last space or the middle space. But you still always do the same thing. That's the common denominator. And if you, so if you can remember, weave with the one farthest to the left, bring it between the two other weavers, lift up the top one, bring it over two, behind one, and out, bring everything back down. You can already see that the braid is starting to happen. Let's do it one more time. Weaver farthest to the left comes between the two other weavers. We lift up the top weaver, bring it over two, behind one, and out. You can see that weave is starting to happen. I'm just going to weave a little bit and just watch it. First, I'm going to get this untangled. Whoa! Um, what I'm weaving on, this is my whispers basket has a small section of, of braid in it. So, over two, behind one, out. Over two, behind one, and 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 out over two, behind one, and out, over 
two behind one and out, over two behind one and out.